everybody. It's GB. Welcome back to... Well, today's video is a little different. Very ASMR friendly. Um, we are going to be finding and then combining the most relaxing teas on the market. I went ahead and searched and shopped for anything that was like relax, sleepy, soothing, stress relief, bedtime, calm, nighty night. There's a lot of teas here and I can't wait to try them all. The, the scents in this room is already a lot. Very pepperminty right now, but we're gonna go through every single tea that we have. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven teas. I'm gonna try each one, and then we're gonna mix every single one together for a mega tea that hopefully I will sleep for the next three days. And we'll see how it tastes when you combine every single sleepy, stress relief, relaxing, bedtime, soothing, calming tea into one. Here we go. So I'm going to set this aside for now. Um, we're going to not waste tea bags. Um, I think it will be fine if we just steep the tea and then once it's stepped, <laughs> steeped, we will put the steeped stepped tea bag into new boiling water. Um, so it's not going to be like, I just don't want to waste two tea bags on one jumbo tea. So that's what we're going to do. So first I want to take you on a little journey through tea, tea land, tea time, time for tea. One of the very first videos that I was obsessed with was Maria Gentle Whisperings um, Tea Ceremony Roleplay. I watched that video so many times, I cannot even tell you. And this, this very much inspired this video, so make sure to check her out. If you haven't, she's the literal queen and the O. So much to her. So I'll link that video in the description. But for now, we're gonna have to start going through, smelling, examining, and showing off each one of these teas. I have a little second angle here so you guys can see a little better. Let's jump right in. No time but the present. I'm gonna start from left to right. So I'm gonna start with the Bigelow Sweet Dreams Herbal Tea. Now this is a blend of chamomile, shamamale, and mint to calm and soothe. There's like a little sticky. <laughs> there was a sticker here. I believe every single one of these teas are caffeine free. Um, but I'll let you know if it's not. So the ingredients we're looking at here, chamomile, hibiscus, peppermint leaves, rose blossoms, spearmint leaves, spice, and orange blossoms. We're going to pour over a tea bag, steep for four minutes. Remove the bag, but don't squeeze. All right. Hello, sweet dreams, herbal tea. You will unlock the freshness, as they say. And take out the tea bag. Luckily this one, we're gonna have to keep track of all our teas. This one has the 
Bigelow tag right on the tea bag. So let's smell it. This is a tea I used to drink a lot in my childhood. So this smells very nostalgic, very familiar. I hate to say it, but this is what tea smells like to me. Like when you open like a box of assorted teas, this is like what would overcome this is, this is what would transcend the rest of the sense in that. I won't manhandle it too much, but get a little mug here. Put our tea in, and I'm going to place them in each cup before I pour the water. I'm going to pour the water all at the same time. So we're going to set that aside for now. Bigelow Sweet Dream. Okay, I went ahead and got the rest of the cups. There's a lot of them. Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Seven. <laughs> seven cups. Next we have a classic. The Sleepy Time Celestial Seasonings, herbal tea, caffeine free. This shows a very sleepy, sleepy bear at a fire. Looks very relaxed. He's got his sleepy time tea, little jam, little kitty cat. I always find it odd when they depict animals keeping other animals as pets, but to be honest, that's all we are, aren't we? Animals. Alright. Let's see. This tea expired in 2016. So, that's a little bit of a snafu that I was not expecting. We're gonna have to pull in uh, a pinch hitter here. Because I am not drinking four-year-old tea. Don't know where this came from, to be honest. All right, that tea is now being replaced by Twitter's favorite. Honey Lavender Yogi Tea. Okay. There we go. This is the Honey Lavender Stress Relief Soothing Serenity Blend. Caffeine-free. The ingredients are listed on the side here. We have passion flower plant extract, rubus, rubius leaf, chamomile flower, lemon balm leaf, lemon grass, spearmint leaf, peppermint leaf, lavender flower, sage leaf, and stevia leaf. It also has organic lavender flavor organic lemon myrtle flavor, organic vanilla flavor, and organic honey flavor. So this is a packed, packed tea. So let's get a best before 2021. That's what I like to see. Still, it's kind of, we're kind of running out of time. January 4th, 2021. I gotta drink some more tea. Maybe we will use two tea bags. Okay. Here we have our cute little bag. I'm gonna put this to you over here. So 
So this says yogi. We're gonna have to keep, I have one other yogi one. We're gonna have to keep them separate so we can remember. But the sense should be pretty different. Honey, lavender, stress relief. Let's give it a little. Wow. Okay, I'm impressed. This has like a spa-like quality. Really, really lovely smell. That is fantastic. Um, there's a lot packed into this little, little tea bag, so we'll see how that goes and give it a little cup to rest in for now. Next, I found this fun tea from online. I like just searched up calming, relaxing teas. And this one is called Calm Herbal Lavender Tea. Um, this product was prayed over. Okay, so I'm gonna expect a little extra something something. This is by a company called Pink Stork. Um, I've never heard of it before. I was entranced by the very modern packaging. I wanted to try to get something. It's a women-owned company. I wanted to try to get something that wasn't just the teas that I saw in the grocery store. So let's see what we have on the back here. Okay, now this calm tea supports relaxation, it's 100% organic, whole leaf tea, and this has a proprietary blend of organic rose hips, organic peppermint leaf, organic lemon balm leaf, organic dandelion root, and organic lavender flower also has some extra natural vanilla flavor and natural lavender flavor. So let's go ahead and it stays in like this little aluminum pouch maybe. And it comes in this nice um, pyramid satchel. These are really pretty. It's like a really fine texture of a bag. It's like mesh. I don't know how well these break down over time, um, but it does a good job of holding it. Recognize a little pink tag here. I'm gonna get it, give this a little shake and a little smell. Floral, minty, does this have mint in it? Peppermint, yeah. Floral, minty is what I'm getting. So we're gonna give that a cup here. And then I'll put this one just to the side so we can continue on our way. This should be an easy one to determine with the pink tag and the rainbow satchel. Next. I picked a Be Well tea, and this is called Get Relaxed. Get Relaxed. I love the color. Um, packaging in a tin can container I like as well. So let me show this to you. Okay, there's a lot of text on here. But essentially, it's saying that this is a caffeine-free herbal blend. It's really good. It's really relaxing. Ah, uh, the word laced makes me a little nervous. With each sip, a blissful blend of health-promoting organic rubus, rubus laced with nerve-soothing soothing chamomile. 
going to be laced with nerve soothing chamomile and passion flower along with stress reducing eleuthero root helps you chill out unbend and unwind now that had an asterisk and it's saying it has not been evaluated by the food and drug administration okay Right here it says, for daily relaxation, drink one cup per day. For especially stressful days, drink two to three cups. You've got the rooibos, rubus. I really should just look that up and stop saying it poorly on a tea video. Linden flower, passion flower, elethero root, chamomile flower, English lavender, and damask rose also contains natural rose flavor. All right, so most of these are four to, four to six minutes, five to seven minutes. You can make this iced. It's a red tea, a natural friend to the immune system. All right, so as we open this here, they don't waste any space. I really like this container. And these come in circular, tagless, stringless tea bags. This one seems like it would break down more easily. Like it, it seems like it's made something more organic. Now this smell right away. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a smell, but be honest, I don't have to. This smells like the top of my baby born doll's head from when I was a kid. That is like rose, you know. I'm curious to see if it will be such an intense tea because the smell is very strong. So this is going to be our circular one because it was in the cylinder. This is the Be Well Teas Get Relaxed. And that's going to go in its cup right there. Like so. Alright. Next we have our second Yogi Tea. This is soothing caramel bedtime tea and this one was interesting to me because I didn't see caramel 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 on any of the other teas so let's take a look at it as we turn it to the side here there's a lot in these yogi teas uh, this has a decent amount of like supplements I think so let's read what's in here. We have the organic California poppy plant, L-theanine, sun theanine. I think that is almost in like anti-anxiety maybe, like supplements. It sounds familiar. Then we have our proprietary blend of herbs, chamomile flower, rubus, <laughs> They really just, they're trying to get me here. Roasted chicory root? If it's chicory, I, you know what? It's okay. Organic skull cap leaf, nutmeg kernel, cinnamon bark, stevia leaf, cardamom pod, ginger root, clove bud, and black pepper. We've got organic caramel flavor, organic vanilla flavor, organic cinnamon bark oil, organic cardamom seed oil, and organic ginger root oil. If I have an allergic reaction to any of these teas, you're gonna bet your sweet face it's gonna be this one. Um, let's try it, you know? Just a little sip. Seems like a lot, personally, to put in a tea. Okay. It's 
fine. All right. Here's the packaging. Very pretty. Comes in a very nondescript. Um, I'm going to keep this out. Tea bag, just like its brother here. I'm going to give this a whiff. I smell the clove, like the spice part. It smells less, you know, it, it is very different than like the lavender, rose, flowery. This is definitely a little for the people who like the a little spice, you know? So, we're gonna take a cup here. We're going to very dangerously put it right next to the other yogi tea. Panic that it's too close, and then move it back up. So that one's gonna be up there. I should be able to smell the difference. So we have caramel and the honey lavender. Oh, they could not smell more different. So that's actually not a problem. Next up, we have Organic Nighty Night, Nighty Night Tea. This promotes a good night's sleep. It's the original with passion flower, and I think we've seen a lot of passion flower here. So let me show you. Here's the box. This is by Traditional Medicinals Sleep. Wellness, caffeine free. Turn it to the side here. Let's find out what's inside our tea. We have organic passion flower herb, organic chamomile flower, organic linden flower, organic catnip. That's a new one. Organic hop strobile. Strobile. Might have to Google that one. Organic spearmint leaf, lemon verbena leaf lemon peel, and West Indian lemongrass leaf. Nothing else added. No flavors. This is all, this is more pure. Unless, I don't know what hop strobile is. We got catnip. Now this one is actually supposed to steep for 10 minutes, so I'm gonna make sure that we pour this one first. Um, two to three cups late in the day, one cup 30 minutes before bed. Wow. It's a lot of tea. I'm an American. I drink one coffee during the day, and if I drink any more, I stay up till 4.30 a.m. Every time. Without fail. All right. All right. Ooh, this one smells pretty good. Okay. Here's our tea bag. wrapped teas, but it's okay. At least this one has all the ingredients on the back. I'm gonna put this up here. And this one smells pretty strongly, actually. Give it a little whiff on camera. It smells very good. The mint is definitely... Clear, but it's not like as overwhelming as some of the other mints. It smells nice. Very basic tea bag, but it's got a nice traditional medicinals tag, so I'm gonna put that in its little cup. Down to our last tea here. This is another one I found online. This is called Nutra. Relax. I liked the look of the box. This is chamomile and valerian. It makes me think of Game of Thrones. It makes me feel like I'm being fancy. And this is a 
soothing tea blend to assist with sleep, stress, and anxiety. Our nutritional information is over here. This one actually says that it has seven kilojoules of calories or however you say it, but most teas will say they have zero calories, so I wonder what seven kilojoules No protein, no carbs. Oh, it's one kcal. There we go. One calorie. That's probably why, like, most teas just say it has zero. So this has lemon balm 20%, chamomile 15%. This is the first one that's, like, broken it down. Fennel, valerian, hawthornberry, St. John's wort, licorice, viburnum, cinnamon. And if you suffer from hypertension, you should avoid excessive consumption of this. So this is another four to five minute brew. I'm gonna go ahead and open this tab here. Let's see if I can actually do it in a relaxing way. The answer was no. All right. I choose you. The bags and the box itself a little bit. It's like shiny. It's really cute. A little flower on it. I'm wondering if this is either chamomile or valerian or neither. Go ahead and open it. This is a UK company, so I am expecting a lot here. Really weirdly, as I took this out of the package, it smells like feet. Um, but then when I like actually sniff, Smells pretty good. I do get some sort of like menthol, minty something. But the smell is interesting. Let's see. It has its tag, so we can tell which tea it is. And it seems like I will be able to. all laid out here so we can see at least most of them okay we're gonna make nighty night there This one didn't have a package. This is the Get Relaxed tea. Then we have the one that came in the pink satchel, and that's called Calm, Pink Stork Calm. And finally, this one here is the first one we did, which was the Bigelow Sweet Dreams. Would be there. So now I have these all laid out. I'm going to boil some water. I'll show you um, how each tea looks as I'm pouring the water in. We'll let it steep. We're going to take a sip, try each one, and then we will make mega tea.
Deutsch. Alright, so it is jumbo tea time, which means one of every single tea kind, and I decided to just get new tea bags because I was gonna spill all over the place, and to be honest, there's so much tea I need to go through. But before that, we'll let that seep, and we're gonna try the individual teas. Hello, we are back with more teas. They're very pretty. This one, the Bigelow Sweet Dreams, is the most, you probably can't see that well, but it's tea. Purpley, reddish. The rest of them have a very distinct, like, brown tea color, to be honest with you. Um, these are a little more orange, these are a little more brown. The smell is, it's hard to distinguish what I'm smelling. But I'm just going to give each tea a little sip. My voice actually needs it. This is going to be very good for me. I'm about to get so much health benefits. So many plants, roots, stems, leaves, petals, and seeds in my Indian system. I'm ready. So I'm gonna start with the Piccolo Sweet Dreams. We're gonna move our way do 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 over. This one was one that I used to drink all the time when I was younger, so cheers. Very mild taste. Again. Kind of like I said in the beginning, this one tastes like tea to me, if that makes sense. It didn't make me want to fall asleep right away. Pretty boring. I wouldn't say it's the best, most relaxing tea on the planet, but I'm being a little harsh here during our tea tasting. Okay. Next we have our Nutra tea. This was the one with the... Well, I should probably show you. This was the one with the flower on the box. Nutra Relax. And the one we had just tried was the Piccolo Tea. Let's see, give this a sip. Never had this before. Tastes a lot like, um, if, like, shampoo water was edible, it tastes like a bath. Not like a dirty bath. A clean bath. Kind of soapy. I'm feeling slightly more relaxed. Next we have, oh, our prayer tea. Home herbal lavender. Now this one smells like my baby doll from childhood. Let's give it a It's pretty good. I wouldn't say it tastes calm. It tastes pretty. Maybe it's just like the rose. Pretty. It does not evoke necessarily calmness. Maybe. Maybe it does. It doesn't actually it doesn't evoke like energy. I would say it evokes 
pretty. <laughs> this is science. This is scientific. Next, we have the traditional medicinals, and that is... Okay, this is the nighty night. So this one... I have high hopes. This better put me to sleep. Pretty similar to Bigelow here, but I prefer it much. The Bigelow has something, something going for it that I wish wouldn't go quite as hard. This is the most relaxing tea so far. The Nighty Night, I would say it actually evokes sleepiness. Just the right amounts of each flavor. Yeah. Passion flower, chamomile, linden, catnip. This is the hopstrabile. <laughs> Spearmint. Yeah, you could taste like a little bit of the mint. And I think because there's so much in here, like the mint isn't overpowering, but it's nice. Here we have. Get relaxed. Also very excited for this one. This is our... This does have lavender and rose in it as well. Let's give it a go. It just tastes like rose. It really just tastes like rose. That's it. It's nice. I don't think rose tea is my favorite flavor. That's just an honest, you know, if you like rose, you'll really like this tea. I just don't think that rose evokes relaxation and calm in me in particular, but it does seem to be a trend among these, so I'm probably wrong. I'm more of a lavender gal. None of these have tasted like lavender to me. Except for this one. Honey lavender. Oh no, I can't remember. I believe the honey lavender... I said I wasn't gonna lose these and I did. The honey lavender is the smaller... Oh, we could just give the smell. That must be honey lavender. This must be the caramel. Yes, 100%. This nose does not lie. This is the caramel. A little. Here I am, the... Soothing. Soothing caramel bedtime. That's this one. Okay. And these yogi teas have a lot in them. Wow. That's really good. That's by far the best flavor, so, like, of all the teas. Flavor, amazing. It tastes like a dessert. That's really good. It would be pretty relaxing to drink. Like, a pretty good substitute if you're trying to be healthy, you know? And I'm gonna, about to, about to need a lot more relaxing tea, because my dog just got home from daycare. Let's see if we can down this honey lavender stress relief before she gets up here. That's good. That tastes relaxing to me. I think I really do associate honey lavender. Like, that is the epitome of relaxation. So I think I liked the traditional medicinal, so nighty night versus honey lavender. I prefer the honey lavender, and I think the caramel was the best taste. This isn't where this wasn't really a rating, but hopefully this helped you kind of imagine what these are like. 
it's time to taste mega tea and see what all of these herbal, flowery, relaxing, stress-releasing teas, how they come together and what that's going to taste like. Let's find out. It's all come down to this. It smells really good, actually. Like, it was, it's not too much. This is relaxation soup. I'm very excited. I'm gonna just give it a little, little mixy moo here. beautiful kind of caramel color molasses no cheating okay mega tea let's try it really good. I'm so relaxed. My stress is gone. Okay, for real though, this, this tastes, this tastes great. This tastes better than any of the individual teas. I'm not kidding. I was fully expecting this to be like really gross. I, you know, not like it at all. Kind of just as a joke, tried this. But it is genuinely so good. This is not sustainable. This is not a sustainable tea. I think it just really... Some of the teas were so strong in one, one department. This is the perfect blend of relaxation. Wow. I think all of these tea companies are going to have to come together. We know the ingredients of all those teas. We're going to have to make our own here. We're going to have to just create our ultimate mega tea for relaxation for science. I can't believe it. I can't believe it's this good. I'm going to sleep really well tonight. And I hope you do too. Thank you so much for coming on this tea journey with me. Um, <laughs> I, I never thought I would make this video, but here we are. Here we are. Look at us. <laughs> right. Good night, everybody. Sleep well. Have a restful, restful evening. Pour yourself a nice cup. I apologize to everybody who uses milk and or sugar in their tea. I wanted to get the pure flavor, um, but I'm sure this would be even better with all of the tea accoutrements. Good night, everyone. I'll see you in the next video. Mm.